How to wrap a shark tooth. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Now, for larger shark teeth, you can do all kinds of fun, crazy designs like I was doing on these arrowheads. And this is basically, you make the loop from the middle of your wire, you wrap around with both sides any way you want, and then you come back up and scarf it. That's just pretty much it. You'll come up with all kinds of patterns you like or don't like. I have about five videos on these arrowheads, and they work the same pretty much for shark teeth. But for this particular very simple shark tooth that you'll find most often, the really big ones are harder to come by, and they're worth more, obviously, all that stuff. Sometimes they're um, from a megalodon, which is extinct, which is super awesome. I have some to show you that are wrapped. And I should put them in this video, but oh, lo and behold, I'll have to wait because I'm not sure where they are. But this simple one, this simple one, just get 20 gauge, just get about 8 inches, or maybe you could do 18, but just take your wire and make, like I said, make a loop from the middle, like always. Um, but all you're doing is you're putting the face right there and you're, you're hugging around the shoulders, so to speak, and then you're coming up to scarf it. So here's, here is your um, shark tooth man celebrating. Yeah, yeah. Throw your hand up in the air and wave him like a shark tooth don't care. It's kind of like he has big puffy sleeves, if you think of it like this. But anyway, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend that this shark tooth has shoulders and no arms, and this, this, uh, Copper man is coming from behind him, and we're just gonna wrap like that. That's it, and we're done. See, because that's cool, it shows off the beauty of the tooth, and that's it, that's all you need to do. So now get one of them out of the way, carefully scarf this guy, and yeah, you only need to go around about twice just to get it good, and then cut it halfway across in the back and tuck it in like always this is the first time you've seen one of my videos you probably think this is a boring channel because this is a very 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 probably the simplest piece i've ever done just tuck that in get in there just make sure you tuck it good that's important okay and now the other one the other side yay now you can make this loop a lot bigger if you want you know it's up to you however you want to do it but I feel like that's adequate so you're not overpowering the tooth and again tuck that little sharp end into the bowl created when you uh, wrap the scarf around that little loop and that's it it's good see the back see the front now you put some jump ring you can turn this that way and then put the, the cord right through it or you can just put jump rings. I prefer to put jump rings because it's a nice effect, I feel like. Um, it's just my thing, I'm tucking that a little better. Now, um, if you want these a little tighter, you can do some crimps and that'll give it like a zigzagged effect. And that can be cool too. Just go straight down and turn a quarter. Like that. Careful, don't do too much, you don't want to break the wire. But that's a cool effect too. And that's pretty much it. And never forget where it came from. <laughs>